what is up squad mark here bringing you guys another video so today i am uh, gonna be sh picking up a beautiful little car okay it's not in the best condition but it's cheap i've already paid for it online won it at an auction thing and we're gonna go pick it up it's somewhere near sandy shores but we're gonna have to go to the local mechanic and uh, we're gonna pick up a tow rig so let's go we are here alone today, so uh, Ryan, he's um, doing some things uh, out of town a bit. And uh, he's going to be doing some things on his own. We ain't together today. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't remembered from a few videos back where I showed you the the super. Yeah, I've, this is the same super, I just for it needed a new paint job and I changed up the wheels to something similar but a little cleaner I could say okay so we're just gonna go to the nearest mechanic we're just gonna go to the nearest mechanic guys we're gonna pick up a tow truck because we don't own a tow truck, but we're going to pick one up, then we're going to go to Sandy Shores to pick up the vehicle that we bought. And we're going to take it back to the little garage you guys saw in the last episode, me and Ryan are renting out. And we are going to fix it up, I'm pretty sure you guys will really enjoy. And based on the thumbnail, you guys may know what it is already. If you don't know, well just wait and see. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting my next video. But right now, we are just going to pull up here to the place. I'm just going to pull up here. Should I? No, I'm going to park my car to the side. Yeah, just park her here. There we go. Just leave her there. It should be okay there. And let's go in here, see if the mechanics in here. We are looking for Nathan. And uh, he said he would give us a tow Let's see. Is Nathan about? Hey. Uh, hey, uh, is Nathan about? Uh, Nathan. Nathan. I'm asking if Nathan is around. No, oh, but he said he will come shortly. Okay, I'm gonna wait outside then for him. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to wait a few because Nathan's not here at the moment. I don't want to bore you guys with the wait. So we're just gonna stand here, and uh, as soon as Nathan shows up, we will uh, resume. Okay guys, we are back. Nathan has uh, just rolled up. We're gonna go in here, talk to him, and see if he has the tow truck available. Let's see. Uh, hey Nathan, uh, do you have that uh, tow truck I spoke to you about? Uh, yes, sure, I can, uh, can lend you one. Give me a second. Is there a size preference? Is there like a smaller one? Um, uh, already it, a big one? It needs to. Uh, In fact, the, uh, the smaller one works better, to be honest. Yeah, give me the smaller one then. What, are you, what kind of vehicle are you towing? Um, it's a little surprise, but it's like a four door uh, JDM car. Ah, okay. Alright, one second. So we're just gonna wait now, gonna get this tow rig. This is a beautiful green, like, what is this, an R34 GTR? 
with mesh wells, it's absolutely beautiful. Just gonna wait a bit. You must be getting the keys for the toy rig. We have a, what seems to be a banshee over there. Oh, here he is with the toy rig. <laughs> but he has to give me a toy rig that uh, because you guys will see it's a little special so it needs to be a specific type of toy rig but if you guys want to guess it is a four door JDM car so if you guys want to know what it is here we go Uh, I'll bring it back in like a few hours. Yeah, it's fine. Just uh, drop it by the shop. You know, you can just park it outside if I'm not here, and I'll, uh, I'll retrieve it. It's fine. Yep, I'll uh, park it outside, and I'll see if I can leave the keys inside. Alrighty, uh, there's the keys, my man. Thank just, you. Uh, drop it by. I should be around anyway, so uh, just get in contact when you're ready to uh, hand it back. Yep, I will. Alrighty, have a good. One. Okay, so now we are off. We're gonna go to Sandy Shores. It's um, it's somewhere near Ace Liquor. That's all I remember from the posting. But apart from that, I don't remember much. I know it's missing a few body panels. It's a little damaged, but we can repair that. It's all fixable. So uh. I don't want to bore you guys with the drive all the way to Sandy Shores so if anything interesting happens or once we get there I will see you guys in a minute yo guys we are back we are here in Sandy we're just filling up the truck because uh, she was really low when we got here there we go so it should be around the corner somewhere Oh, let's see the EMS, let's let them pass. So it should be around the corner from here. And I don't know why you stop. And um, it should be on this road. Um, I think to this road here. And um, this road. No, it's, I think, this way. Like I said, I'm not too sure. I saw this post online in an auction thing. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see her. There she is, guys. Oh, it's a... Ooh, she doesn't look in the greatest shape. So, uh, if you guys can't tell what this is, this is a... Nissan Skyline R34 it is a 4 door and it's a GTS so it's real world drive and all that and uh, we're gonna be building a nice little drift car from this but let's see what, what's wrong so quite instantly we're, we're missing a hood front bumper it seems to be dented in the front as well um, the headlights seem fine, the windshield seems to be uh, broken here. Uh, it seems to have an okay body kit. The rim seems to be broken as well. Oh, the trunk light as well over here. The trunk doesn't close, does it close? No. Rear window's broken, any damage on this side? No. Oh, actually this bumper seems to be hanging a bit. Yep, that bumper, rear bumper seems to be hanging, but apart from that, she's in good condition. I didn't pay that much for it, guys, so don't worry, she was quite a cheap car. Quite, quite cheap. She's got bright interior, let's see if she starts. Uh, let's see if these keys work, yep, yeah, the keys work. Does she start? Oh, she does start, okay, so she starts. And yeah, there you go, so we do have bumper. Apart from that, it doesn't seem to be much. We are missing like a few parts, but 
interior wise as well we've got like this Nismo wheel bride seat we don't seem to be missing too much so let's see if we can hook it up from the front or should, no I think we should hook it up from the back as it is damaged but we can try uh, let me actually try and move okay let me move this out into the road let's turn on these lights and let's actually try and move this car out to this person's house I don't know if they're in I can go knock at the door and check hello anyone home uh, no I've already got all the paperwork and everything I bought it online auction and this is where they said it was at Oh my god, yeah the trunk seems to be popped open and everything. So I'm gonna try and do it from the front, but I'm just gonna leave it like this because she's quite broken and I don't wanna keep driving it on, especially on the rims because I, I'm thinking of keeping those rims, maybe drift spares if you know what I mean. So let's uh, try and no, I'm gonna go from the back, I think it's the better idea. Because we're missing a tire and everything, so let's just lower this down. And uh, let's uh, make sure that we can connect. Let's, uh, let's go out and check if we connect it up. Uh, let's just check here. Yeah, we seem to be connected up. Uh, let's now lift her up slowly and see if we can Okay, can we lift her? Oh, we don't seem to be lifting her. Uh, can we lift her? No, this is as high as she goes. Okay. Well, that will have to do. But yeah, guys, there we go. This is the little car, and uh, what my plans are for it? Well, uh, I'm going to be building a drift car. Ryan, um, he has a few cars in mind as well, but we want to get into the drifting community, so we're going to build ourselves some drift cars, and well, I thought, why not keep to my JDM thing, JDM class, and I'm going to keep it, and this trunk, I hope, does not fly off, because she does keep, like, opening and closing. So uh, we're going to go back to the little garage, I don't know what's the best way because I don't want to get on the highway, but I think I'm going to have to. You, okay, you're going straight. I hope I don't lose any more body parts or anything like that. I hope she doesn't break anything and once we get to the garage we can like fully check what is wrong with this, if there's anything broken. And uh, we will order the parts, see what's broken, what's missing. And uh, yeah, we're going to just check everything out. Make sure everything's working. Get this car up to spec. Oh god, she's... No, no, no. Okay, she's really getting slidey. Okay. I don't think I should get on the highway, but it's too late. Actually, we're not getting on the highway here, we're going to continue going straight, because we have to get on a different highway. <sighs> she keeps really spinning, but yeah, it's we are going to continue going straight here, and then we just have to get off, I think, the first or second exit. It's closer, and we don't have to go on the busy road. Oh, what is this driver doing? Oh, he's turning, okay. So we're just gonna... She does look quite good, actually, without a bumper. And if I can remove the rear bumper without damaging anything else, I may do that. Up to now, seeing from the... It will cost me a bit of money, guys, to, like, repair her. It may cost me a few, like, 
grand. I'm gonna have to definitely order a new hood, new bumper. Uh, the trunk mechanism, I don't know how much that will cost, and windshields. I'm gonna have to get a new tire put on it and uh, make sure none of the transmission or anything like that is. I know it was involved in a front collision. It was involved in a like a it wasn't a head-on collision. It was like hit. Like it wasn't with another vehicle. It was like a building, if I'm not wrong. So we need to check if everything is straight and all that. These drivers are so slow, this is a 30 zone and he's doing 20. Let's just go around him. We're going around this driver, excuse me, coming through him. Working here. So yeah, we're gonna drop this car off. And then we may then call Nathan. I don't know if he can come pick it up. Otherwise we'll drop the pickup and the pickup truck. The tow truck to him. But yeah, as you guys see, we basically try, I'm trying to stay as much as I can off the main road, but, I mean off the highway, because, well, I can't really keep up the speed, but, over here I have to, there isn't any other way, unless I went really far, and I would have to take a really long route, jeez, okay, I know I'm going slow, but you don't have to be rude about it. I didn't check how much fuel or anything, but we can get fuel for the, the skyline. So what do you guys want to see done to this skyline, like what mods and body kits or anything like that, like what do you actually want to see? Because I'm thinking of doing a drift build, but I don't know if you guys want to like a specific rims for this or anything. This is like these cars that we're getting and I want to build them with you guys oh my god stop stop okay there you go I want you guys to like help me decide and uh, I want you your guys' opinions on uh, what you guys think is best for the car and uh, what you guys would like to see like if there's any car you want to see me build or test drive or anything just like I've been test driving what have we done now we've done the the GMC the off-road GMC uh, it's not an off-road it's just the man that built it it was built for off-road we've done the fair lady review on that um, we, we, we've done the old Civic and the new Civic I'm trying to stick to the side of the road like this, so if anyone wants to pass me, they can. We've done the new and old Civic, like, you know, the EG6, I think it was, and now the FK9, the new Civic Type R. And then we've also done the, um, okay, I think this is my exit. Uh, we've also done... The, the super which I own okay which way now uh, hopefully it's this way I think it is this way not too good with the maps yeah I think it's this way and then we have to get off um, why are we going the wrong way no I think we are going the wrong way guys we have to be going the opposite direction right now is it is it legal to do a U-turn? Um, okay, there was no cars coming, just this one. So okay, let's we need to be going straight. Yes, we do. Because the garage is near Grove Street. If you guys uh, remember from last episode where I showed you where I took the Civic, uh, that was actually. I did not expect to crash my Civic like that. Like, okay, it was like a fun race, and yeah, races usually end bad, but they couldn't end it worse. And oh no, she's getting squirrely again. Okay, there we go, straighten up. But yeah, it didn't end as bad as I thought it would. Here's 
that Ryan's uh, like rental did get quite bashed, but he was able to repair it with some parts I brought and things, and we put it back all together. Uh, he didn't have to pay anything. We we told the guy, okay, look, we did damage it a bit. We've repaired it as best as we can because we do know what we're doing. And the guy was like, yeah, it's fine. It's a beta car. So uh, he let us be. So yeah, we are actually extremely close. Uh, now that I'm looking at the map, I think it's yeah, it's to the right. Okay, just, okay, thank you. No indicators, but you know, who, who uses indicators? But yeah, it's now we take a left here. Oh, there's the PD. We take a left here. Uh, the PD station is like nearby to us anyway, so yeah. So we continue going along here. And uh, here we are. We're at the location, and it just died to rain. Uh, open up. Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna pull in, like, so. We're gonna hop out of this. Oh wait, let me lower it first. Lower her down. There you go. And uh, we're just gonna unlock her and get in and we're gonna drive it no we have to unhook it as well okay let me unhook it as well let me just yep unhook from here and then we just go in here and unhook okay there we go we're just gonna unload uh, so we took the bumper out of the back hey I forgot to mentioned that the bumper was in the back see so I put the bumper on just to see like how bad it was and uh, yeah so you can see like how badly the bumper is damaged so that's definitely gonna have to be replaced I'm gonna take that off once uh, yeah I'm gonna take that off I'm gonna leave it out here because right now I think it's better because it's especially it's smoking and all that. I'll pull it in here once we have like all the body parts done, and then we can check the mechanical part, like if every coolant and everything is all right. So uh, let's see. We need a bumper. We definitely need hood, front and rear. We need a trunk. I think. Let me just check. Yeah, trunk, rear bumper, tire. So we have some tires over here, so that's uh, definitely okay. So we're gonna go here to the computer. Let's uh, let's order the parts. So slash me orders brand new parts heard. Bumpers. I'm gonna put time times two. Um, trunk, and then mm, glass. There we go. We're just gonna order those. Okay, guys. So we're just gonna order those, and I'll see you guys in a few hours once these parts come. Okay guys, the parts have came in, so uh, we've got the bumpers and the things all in this like box over here, I put everything, I've, uh, most of it came in white, but whatever didn't, we will just like put the car, like some of it's like primer white, so we'll just put the car in the paint booth and we'll paint it out. So uh, let's begin, I'm going to begin with the back of the car and work my way forward, so uh, let's uh, First, unscrew this. So let's take off this old trunk. There we go. Just take this trunk off, and we'll leave it inside. We're gonna put this inside over here. Just leave it over here. 
And uh, now we will just... Okay, I'm turning off these lights because... It's getting quite annoying. There we go, just turn off those lights. Next, we will have to remove this rear bumper. Let's do that. Let's rem... Let's uh, remove... Rear bumper. There we go, just... I'm just gonna take this off. Leave it here. Oh, yeah, let me... Get off that. Let's uh, take the front bumper off as well. Bumper, no. Oh. Okay, just put that here as well. We'll like scrap these pieces. And uh, oh, it seems to have some headlights. No. Okay, so uh, let's grab uh, let's grab the first body part. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, okay, this is a front bumper. So. Uh, There we go, just put this on, let's screw it here in the side. Let's screw it here on this side and along the top. There we go. Uh, the hood, it was somewhere over here. Uh, yep, here it is on the shelf. That came in before those other packages. So, so let's uh, put this hood on. There we go, just screw it over here. And uh, let's screw it on this side as well. And there we go. And, uh, okay, next thing we have to do is grab, where was the, oh, the rear bumpers here on the shelf as well. That came in a different box. There we go, just take that rear bumper. We're gonna grab this rear bumper and we're gonna... Oh, come on. Let's just place it on. There we go, the rear bumper. And finally, the trunk. Uh, it's here as well. That's the final piece, and then we'll bring it on inside. Uh, put the trunk on. This is... Screw that in, there we go. And, uh... Okay, let's see if the trunk will close now. There we go, the trunk closes. Okay, let's uh, make sure the hood is on correctly. Let me just make sure this hood is on correctly. Let me make sure, okay, it is. Let me just put this thing tighten it a bit. There we go. So, we've done that. Okay, now let's open up the hood. She's still smoking. I don't think she. Yeah, she isn't starting anymore either. So let's see. Um, radiator. We have one of those in here. Maybe the battery. And we'll change the spark plugs and then some of the coolant as well. So let's grab these things the coolant and everything. Grab the coolant. There we go. Grab that. And. Uh, Where's the radiator? Oh, it's over here with the other parts. Grab that. There we go. And, uh... Let's see if, uh... Okay, 
let's see now if we do if we now try and start yeah let's just change these things there we go and she should start now uh, I think she's uh, running let's just hop in here yep let's bring her on inside I'm gonna check everything over one more time make sure she isn't overheating oil seems good uh, yeah it seems all good actually okay let me just get in the car let's close off this hood here it is guys we got this junkyard slash auction find this is a GTS R34 Skyline completely stock we have a beautiful well, I would say completely stock, completely stock for what I've done all I've done is I've put the new front bumper, hood, trunk and rear bumper we fixed up the glass we put a new tire on it and we fixed some of the thing, a few loose hoses here and there but apart from that we have uh, fixed this car let's hop on in she needs some gas but let's hop on in and take her for a little spin see what she can do so the previous owner in the description of the auction said she had p some power and she was a bit of a like drift car but it wasn't his car it was his grandson's car but his grandson left to go uh, left the city I think he went Liberty City so we bought it and uh, my god is this thing amazing she handles amazingly she's got plenty of power like behind her I don't think we need any more but you guys tell me what you think should we add more power should we add a different body kit or whatever maybe a wing give me your guys opinions down below in the comments while you're there as well don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell because we are posting at least two videos a week Mondays and Fridays so expect a lot more to come to this channel so we're just gonna I don't know uh, any good locations that around here um, I think we can go down this way we can go to the docks if I'm not wrong we can go to the docks and test it out see how good of a drift car she is any disclaimers before you guys start hating on me I am not a pro drifter okay I'm I, I'm not like professional not that good um, okay this way so don't expect me to become the next gym Connor. I can drift a bit and that's about it I can just about keep a good slide going and this car has loads of torque for the size of it like she does spin quite a bit and uh, yeah we need to like take this out maybe to the drag strip or something maybe put it up against some other cars don't worry if you guys want to see more cars just tell me down below uh, the discord channel is there so if you aren't on the server and all that jump on my personal discord or the this discord the community's discord see what cars they have available and like tell me what you guys want to see me use I'm all up to test anything out so that will be fun and interesting to see what you guys want to see me use and uh, Ryan uh, had a few cars in mind as well so yeah yesterday you guys may have noticed the money was down and this is why we bought this car we did buy it we bought it like a few days ago that's why my money was low I have did a few jobs here and there got my money back up and uh, yeah, we're now just gonna use the docks 
think this is like the best location we could use at the moment to drift. We're gonna drift around a bit because this is what this car is gonna be and it's what it's made for. A drift car. Well, it's got plenty of angle. Okay, it's got plenty of angle, but to a point. Oh, okay. Not enough angle to do that. Oh, I spun her around. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, like I said, I'm not the best drifter, okay, guys? Like, I can keep angle. I'm, I'm no Jim Connor, like. But, okay, she handles absolutely amazing. One thing I may do is try and maybe lower the torque down, get less power. Because right now I'm pretty sure she's very talky. We may try and get her on a dyno. Test her on a dyno because she I'm pretty sure she's making a good amount of horsepower. She does do donuts quite well. That's a good thing. And I think longer corners. Like something like this. There you go. There you go. Yeah, something like that she can do quite well. But yeah guys, this was it. This was the little surprise I told you guys. This is our brand new vehicle, 4-door R34 GTS. It's not a GTR. I uh, don't have the bank account for GTR. This was a bargain. Like. If I was to get it brand new, imported and all that, it would cost me a couple hundred thousand. I paid a couple less, like a lot less. I paid, I think, maybe 20, 30k uh, damage, just how you guys saw. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Because I will be posting Mondays and Fridays, so you are notified. This was Squadmart. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.